Hi guys, welcome back to another repair video. In this video I will be uh, fixing this Apple wireless keyboard which has a stuck battery inside the battery compartment and it's really stuck in there. I just use a uh, simple tool, uh, in this case I just used a penny or battery or whatever I used to uh, take off the uh, uh, screw or cover and then you use a s very thin metal prying tool to get off the uh, or take off the um, plastic that covers up the logic board and the connection to the keyboard itself now you have to be careful here because those uh, clips are pretty fragile but take care and you should be all right and once uh, you get it off on one side just clamp it together and you can take the plastic bit completely off inside here you will find the uh, logic board and a zip connector that connects the uh, keypad to the keyboard or to the logic board and it is fastened with a uh, Phillips you can use a uh, number zero or double zero screw and then you use a metal spudger no sorry a nylon spudger to uh, take off the clamp on the zip connector if you try to take off the cable without unclamping the clamp there, you will tear the wire or the FPC straight off. I used the spudger's uh, thin end to carefully take out the uh, cable, as you can see, working from side to side, and then the cable will come out easily. Once the cable is released like that, you just use a spudger or your fingers and you carefully slide the whole compart or the whole logic board assembly out through the side where with the power button. At some point it might stick a little bit, but just exert slight pressure and uh, you should uh, be able to take out the entire compartment. Now here I used isopropyl alcohol around the battery to try and loosen it as much as I could and dissolve some of the uh, battery acid that had uh, leaked out and created, but that was really, really stuck in there. So what I ended up doing was I used a uh, bit driver, a long bit driver that without a bit in it, and I placed it on top of the battery and I gave it a good one single good whack and uh, the battery luckily with the help of the isopropyl alcohol and the force it uh, ejected and as you can see that battery was really messed up now it's time to clean up the compartment as best as you can so I use a lot more isopropyl alcohol and uh, I uh, used the spudger to push the paper through the compartment trying to collect as much of the uh, battery acid that had leaked out as I could one step that I didn't have the possibility to show in this was I used a round brush and uh, a little bit of water uh, with isopropyl alcohol and I did use that to really get the stuck pieces off but once it's been uh, through there a couple of times it was uh, really clean and new batteries fell in just as they should Now to put this thing back together is just simple reversal of uh, everything, so orient the logic board assembly correctly in there and carefully slide it back inside. Take note to not damage the connect or connecting cable. Just hold it to the side and carefully slide it in.
Now I used the nylon spudger after fastening the Phillips screw. I hold the ZIF connector open while placing the cable back into the connector. I found this to be a lot easier because sometimes the clamping on the ZIF connector really does clamp in too quickly. So I found it really helpful to use the nylon spudger to hold open the ZIF connector as you can see here and then pushing it carefully back and seating it and again using the flat end of the spudger make sure the clamp is tight around the cable to ensure a good connection the plastic simply snaps back into place and the Apple keyboard Apple wireless keyboard is back in working condition I didn't snap a video of this working but it was as simple as putting in two new AA batteries connecting it and it was working just fine I would like to thank all you guys for watching my videos I really really enjoy creating videos and I hope to be able to make more videos in the time to come expect me when you see me